Welcome to our access control definitions module. There are several access control definitions that you should be familiar with for the CISSP examination. A subject is an active entity that requests resources or access to an object or the data that an object contains. An object is a passive entity that contains information that a subject is interested in accessing. Access is the ability of the subject to be able to perform some type of interaction with objects. This interaction could be reading data, writing data, deleting data, or modifying data. Access also relates to the flow of information between subjects and objects. Access control is an important concept that is covered on the CISSP examination. Access control refers to implementing security features that will control the interaction between subjects and objects. Let's take a look at how all of these work together. Alice is our subject. She would like to view or access her company's vacation policy, which is an object. Based upon the access control features put in place by her administrators, Alice does have permission to read this document but does not have permission to edit the document. So if she attempts to read the document, her request will be granted and she will receive access to read the document. If she attempts to edit the document, however, this is not permitted by her access control policy and her request will be denied. The identification of a subject is important. The subject states their identification information. This is usually in the form of a username that is entered into a system, but can also be a access control system in a building where a user presents an access card in order to gain access to the building. We then talk about AAA or authentication, authorization, and accounting. This term is going to be seen on the examination. and You may see the term AAA server, which is a server that is responsible for authentication, authorization, and accounting. The first A is authentication. At this stage, we take the identification that was presented to us by the subject, such as their username, and we verify that they are the actual person associated with that identity common method to do this is using a password. So when an individual presents their username, they are identifying themselves, and then when they present their password, they are now authenticated to be the actual individual who holds that identification. At this step, we also ensure that that user is on the list of users that is allowed to access that system. The next step is the authorization of that user's interaction. Here, we determine if that user has permission to access certain resources, and if they do have permission to access the resources, what type of operations are they allowed to perform? For example, some users may have read-only pr privileges for a certain document, while other users may have read and write privileges for that document. A similar example here is in a physical environment in a facility. All users may have access to enter through the front door, but only a very select group of users may have access to the data center. Our final step is the accounting step. Here we are concerned with recording the actions of the user for accountability. If there is an incident later with a specific file, we can then review the logs to determine who accessed the file. If we have an incident in our facility, we can review the logs of those who entered through the front door to determine who was in the building at the time the incident occurred. This slide demonstrates the relationship between subjects and objects. On the left, we have our subjects, which you will recall are active participants, such as processes, people, services, or programs. These subjects will then request access to objects on the right such as programs, processes, or other pieces of hardware or files. And this data flow concept is where we determine if the subject is or is not allowed to access these objects based on the access controls that were put in place by the system administrator. This concludes our access control definitions module. Thank you for watching.